Hi, I'm Manavaraj Khosla. Um, I'm here from Bangalore. I'm a designer. Um, I got into this business in 1990, um, having studied at the Dune School, where I was a disaster as far as studies was concerned. I decided to go into the fashion business and wanted to study fashion at a time when fashion really didn't exist in India. It was sort of in its infancy. A couple of people were getting into the business, and I've actually convinced my parents to let me study fashion. So having done my BCom in Calcutta, I went to London, studied fashion, came back, and set up my own studio in Bangalore in 1990. Why Bangalore? I have absolutely no idea. But that's where I went, and that's where I am till today. Um, over the years, so these are just pictures like over the years. There's nothing which is actually sort of the latest collection or anything like that. We started experimenting and trying to do different things. My forte, I realized, was menswear. And I mean, we do women's wear as well, but men's wear was sort of where my heart and my soul was. And so over the years, we experimented with different sort of looks with men's wear. We, you know, and when I started out this business, I started in a little apartment in Bangalore, which I, you know, which was lying around free. And with an investment of, I think, about 25 or 30,000 rupees, I hired one tailor and one master cutter. And that's exactly where we started made a few shirts, made a few pants, sold them to the one or two designer stores which were available in there, which had just actually opened in India. One in Delhi, one in Bombay, and that's where sort of the business started growing from. And these were sort of just, over the years, sort of tried to experiment and, you know, see what we could really do with menswear. So, you know, whether it was layering, texturing, weaving different fabrics, um, playing around with laser cuts, uh, all this sort of different sort of stuff which we kept sort of doing over the years. What actually then also became a lot of fun was, you know, not just doing uh, clothes for, you know, individuals. We also started saying, let's, you know, get into uniforms. Okay, so I think that slides obviously later. What we're now doing a lot is, uh, and which is now my new favorite thing to do, is shoes. Uh, again, right now we're only doing men's shoes. We haven't got into women's shoes as yet. This is only something which I started about 10 months ago. I had started this earlier on. Actually, in 95, I actually set up a joint thing with Kingfisher, and we decided to start a range of breath, sporty, edgy clothing. Uh, launched it with a lot of fanfare, became a sort of big thing, but somehow I think the brand Kingfisher it was too early you know, 25, 30 years ago to actually sell clothes under the Kingfisher brand name. And we sort of did it for a bit, but it never really took off. And so we actually shut it. We actually started even a shoe line at that point of time, which we then retailed through Metro. But again, we just realized that as with a brand, Kingfisher clothes and fashion was just not taking off till we really sort of rethought the entire business model of it. Finally, to cut a long story short, we actually just shut it down. Um, so now I've started shoes again, and uh, this is sort of high-end menswear stuff, really party clothes, uh, party shoes. And another thing which I really love doing a lot is uniforms. Um, I've always found that it's very important for people in any establishment, whether it's a hotel, a restaurant, a corporate house, whatever, to really look good. Uh, these are just some of the things we had done. We did this for the ITC uh, Gardenia for their Japanese restaurant you know, making it look really edgy, making it look fun, and something which sort of gave an identity. This was something we did for the Park Hotel chain. Uh, this was one of my favorite things, Kingfisher Airlines. Um, the whole look was to make it look really cool, make it look something which sort of went with the brand. And I think one of the nicest things that happened after this was when Jet Air was actually changed their entire uniform and you know, went to the current yellow jackets and sort of took out hoardings all over Bombay and Delhi and Bangalore saying we've changed. And Kingfisher Airlines took out the hoarding right on top of it saying we made you change. And I said, I made them change. <laughs> so that was like really a fun thing to do. <laughs> uh, this was just some stuff which we did for all the cheerleaders at IPL. Uh, this we did for the Himalaya uh, group. Again, you know, using a lot of their logos, using basically their sort of look, so that if you ever walked into any sort of store, a multi-brand store, and you wanted something from Himalaya, you knew exactly who to go to because it was so obvious who the Himalaya girl was. 
Uh, this we did for the Royal Orchid uh, group of hotels, again, using a lot of their um, logos, and that, that flower is actually what their logo is, and we developed the entire print around that, and did saris out of that, did ties out of that, did shirts out of that, and sort of mixed and matched it with, uh, you know, various other things. This was a bar called Comatose, very hip, and another restaurant called Jonathan's Kitchen, uh, this we did for the Trident Group, again, a huge, uh, they're the biggest towel manufacturers in India. And uh, this was for all their factory workers and everything. So basically, you know, stuff that needed to look cool, where the person who's wearing it needed to be happy in it, needed to be comfortable in it, and at the same time, it needed to be really, really functional. Uh, this we did for the Hilton Group. Uh, again, edgy, lots of rivets and stuff like that. Uh, this was for Force India, for all their girls. Um, which, again, we changed over the years. And that was that. And that's my five minutes. Thank you very much.